What's up, folks? Happy Father's Day to you fathers out there. Mama says, uh, what do you want to do for Father's Day? I'm like, quite honestly, I want to go out in the shop <laughs> and work on something. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean valves using my drill press. Just a basic Craftsman benchtop drill press, right? A little rubber hose to protect the valve and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and clean these bad boys. Let me show you how I do it. All right, there isn't much rocket science to it. Um, this is a valve that I just got done. It got pretty clean. And um, interesting to, to see the sealing surface on there. You can see where the black line is. But I don't see any ridges here that I can notice. It doesn't mean it's not there, but... When we do the valve grinding portion, uh, this will all clean up and, and mate perfectly with the uh, uh, <clears throat> with the valve seat that's there. This is a an exhaust valve, and uh, this is an intake valve. It's the one right next to it. You can see it's a little crusty. See the crustiness, all right? Now, I'm not trying to put this on the bench grinder and beat the hell out of it with a wire wheel. That's not what's going to happen here. I'm going to go ahead and slide this hose over there to protect the stem. Get this dude in there. All right, that's nice and snug. And you notice, she ain't moving too quick. Let me reposition the camera. We're gonna use this red scratch pad. It's not aggressive. And I'm using my handy dandy WD-40. All right, let's reposition this for you. I'm not pushing real hard, just letting the WD-40 and the abrasive pad do the work for me. Well, we got most of the funk off of there, and I'm using this red pad, and I got this from Ace Hardware. It's a uh, metal finishing pad. You can get the gray ones, too, that are used for stripping things. And then I've got the gray one here, which is a wood finishing pad, okay, which I'm kind of going to put just a nice uh, finish on this. And you'll see I'm running it kind of dry. So, I'm going to get busy and um, knock out the rest of these freaking valves, right? There's, uh, what, 12 of them to do, six cylinders, and uh, we're going to go from this to this using the drill press and scotch brights. all right? Inexpensive way to do it, non-evasive, doesn't tear up the, uh, the valves, um, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, let me get to it.
Well, that's it. Um, I still have uh, two, four, five more valves to do, but this technique works really good. Just be patient. Don't rush it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let the juice and the pads do the work for you. So have a great day. I'm going to get finished here and uh, start cleaning up these uh, valve springs, keepers, and whatnot, and uh, get all this stuff ready to go so we can uh, go on to the next step, and that is to, uh, you know, lap these valves, get them seated properly, all right? Have a good rest of your day. I'm out of here like a herd of worms, you know what I'm saying? Yeah.